This is how to create a beveled cross inside Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing we need to do is activate the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Select the rectangle tool and go to one of these crosshairs right here. From this point, draw a rectangle that is one square down and five squares to the right. Then go to this point right here and draw a rectangle that is seven squares down and one square to the right. Go to the selection tool and select the entire cross. Then go to Pathfinder menu right here. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder panel right here. So go to the Pathfinder panel and click on this button right here that says Unite. Then go to the Fill and unselect the fill. And now click anywhere on the canvas to unselect the cross as well. Select the Zoom tool and zoom into the cross. Then pick the Pen tool and start from this corner right here. Click one time. Click in the middle of this square section right here and click on the other corner. And now simply do a triangle like this in every single end of the cross. But in order to make a new triangle, you need to press enter before doing another one. Otherwise the triangles will connect like this. So simply press enter to draw another triangle. Do this in every end of the cross. When you have a triangle in every end of the cross, simply click on this pointy end of the triangle and draw a line all the way to the tip of this triangle right here. Press enter and do another line horizontally. Now press enter once again and do the last line right here from this corner to this corner. Then pick the selection tool and select all the shapes. And to make all these lines into shapes, go down to the Pathfinder panel again and click this button right here that says divide. Then right click the cross and click on group. So now the cross is split up into different shapes as you can see if I do this. So now select the entire cross again and swap the stroke and the fill and select these shapes right here. This one, this one and this one as well as this one and this one. Give these shapes a light color. And to avoid getting white lines where the shapes split, simply go to the Pathfinder panel and click Unite. Now select all the other shapes, make these a dark color and unite these shapes as well.